In this video, we will discuss the steps necessary to provide the XGB PID control loop with the correctly scaled data from the process and to the control output in order to operate properly. We will explain how to scale the set point value, process value, and manipulated value for the PID loop calculations. Our demonstration oven uses a thermocouple module and an analog output module. The XGB PID loops use analog count values for loop operation. The result of the PID calculation is output as an analog count to the MV. This control system uses an analog output configured for a range of 0 to 4000 counts, outputting 0 to 10 volts. This output voltage operates the heater controller from 0 to 100%. The control loop requires process SV and PV input values that correlate to the MV output value. In this example, 0 to 4000. Our demonstration oven uses much lower temperatures than used in actual oven processes. The thermocouple module is scaled for a range of 32 to 212 degrees Fahrenheit spanning 0 to 4000 counts. A temperature value of 108 degrees is scaled to an analog count value of 1551. This is the value the PID will use for the PV. The SV is scaled to the same range as the PV. The actual temperature set point is sent from the operator interface device to the PLC for scaling. The difference in the SV and PV provide the PID loop with the error value for loop calculation. To summarize, a set point value of 102 degrees is entered at the operator interface. From the scaling range we have programmed, the value to the SV of the loop is 1556. The scale process value of 101.8 degrees of the thermocouple module is 1551. This value is used by the PID loop PV to calculate the error value used in the PID algorithm. Configuring the PID loop in the XG5000 software, auto-tuning, basic manual tuning, and ladder programming for controlling the loop is covered in other videos in this series. For additional information related to the XGB PLC family of products, visit the links below.